Right in. Keith Devane, this is Wally Hello. Peters. He works at the Tanglewood Chalet. Hello, Mr. What is your name? Peters. Peters, how do you do? Now, you saw this couple? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Please sit down. I worked the night shift, and this couple checked in the other night. Oh, right. How long did they stay? Uh, well, they were gone when I came back on duty the next evening. Our men checked the uh, register. They checked in as Smith. Smith, that's original. <laughs> um, did you notice whether the lady was carrying or wearing a white mink coat? I sure did. I thought it was a little strange to be wearing a mink coat this time of the year, but... <laughs> I guess most rich people are eccentric. Why didn't you call us sooner? Didn't you know we were looking for these people in the paper there? No, sir. I, I didn't even know they were wanted by the police until today. Okay, it's all right. Were they alone? Uh, yes, I'm sure they were alone. I delivered the complimentary champagne. The guy told me that they'd eloped, and he tried to give me a big tip. Then he asked me if I could get him some new shoes and some shaving stuff. Do they seem frightened or scared in, in any way? Maybe a little, but I, I thought it was the excitement of eloping. All right, come on. Is there anything else? That's really all I can remember. All right. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Thank you very much. Well, I guess that eliminates kidnapping. Yeah. Sounds like they're having a good time. Yeah. With all that money, <laughs> they could be anywhere by now. Yeah. If they keep throwing money around like that, the places like Tanglewood Chalet, they're going to be broke very soon. Ooh. By the way, uh, Duke Lavery called several times. Oh. Thank you. What can I do for you, Damon? I'm just checking in, Duke. Mr. B wants to make sure you have everything under control. Yeah, well, everything's in order. We only have two more weeks to complete Tumble Dry. He doesn't want anything to upset our plans. I said it's under control. Now, he's very nervous about that printout, Duke. He doesn't like the fact that Jones and his wife are walking around with it. I told you I'd handle them, and I have. They're being contained until the Tumble Dry is completed. Are you sure about that? Th that they're being contained, I mean? Because if they aren't, I'm still prepared to take care of the situation. Damon, you leave Frisco and Felicia to me. Sure. I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing. I'll tell Mr. B that you have everything under control. Yeah, you do that. My man in Cincinnati ought to be on target just about now. Okay, guys, we're all set. My wife's gonna pick us up across the street in the parking lot. Jackie, sure we're not about No, no, she's delighted I'm bringing home some company. So you guys ready? Uh, yeah, we'll wait for her to get your luggage, okay? Oh, yeah, son of a gun. I, I would've walked right out of here without it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Well, thank uh, you. Be right back. All right. It would've been terrible if he forgot his luggage. Uh-huh, if he has any. You still think he's up to something? I don't know. All I know is that somebody is up to something or we wouldn't be in this predicament, right? Yeah, well, it just doesn't make sense to me. And it can't be the printout that's behind all of this. Why can't it? Because nobody knew I took it. I mean, nobody knew I took it before we left Port Charles. Anyway, anybody who tried to set me up to make it look like I stole $45,000 had to have some other reason. I'm sure of it. But what reason? Who would have sent that coat to the apartment and made some story up about a surprise party for Tiffany? Oh, honey. I'm really sorry about this, you know. This is all my fault. <laughs> the worst part about it is that's gonna ruin your career. I'm so sorry. Listen, you can't worry about that now, okay? Okay? I don't think we should deal with this guy. Why? too easy. He's too slick. He's going to too suspicious. He's a really nice man. He's from the Midwest. All people in the Midwest are really nice. Okay, what makes you think that his wife is going to help us out, right? I mean, I don't feel like making money by doing people's chores, either. Well, maybe she wants some work done around the house. We should have to get to Atlantic City, okay? We don't have time to just stick around here. We gotta get on the move. Well, if you could think of another way to get there, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever you say. Okay, guys, we're all set. My wife will be here any minute. You guys ready? Oh, oh, terrific. I'm so tired, I don't even know if I can get it. Great. Oh, 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 you okay? Oh, all right. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, it's a trick ankle. Oh, oh, no. Are you hurt? Are you going to be all right? Oh, kills me. It swells up like that. Listen, I. It's going to take me a minute before I can walk. Would you tell. 
Your wife, if you would, wouldn't mind just to pull the car by the curb so I don't have to walk all the way over across the street to the parking lot. Uh, all right, sure. Yeah, yeah no, no problem. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here. What? I felt a gun on him. Let's go. Gun. Don't all nice guys carry a gun? Come on. Yeah. Damon, uh, it's me. It's it's Howie. Look, I, I, I lost them. You what? I lost them, Damon. I, I went outside to get the car. They, they were all set to go with me. I, I was going to take them to the outskirts of town. I was going to pop them. What happened? I don't know. Jones said he hurt his ankle. He faked me out. Look, I swear to you, Damon, I wasn't gone more than a minute. A minute. I came back, and, and, and him, him and his girl were trying to get out the back way. Ah, you idiot. Did you chase them? Yes, of course I chased them. Well, did they them. have a car? How did they get away? I don't know. I don't know. I... I know they're broke. I know they're broke, and they're trying to get to Atlantic City. Atlantic City? Damn it. I knew it. They broke the code on the printout. What do you have to do, David? Get back to New York. Well, don't you think I should stay to the terminal? I mean... You're useless to... now, Howie. They're on to you. You get back to New York. Well, what about them? Who's going to be on their trail? When I ordered you to make the hit, I ordered a backup as well. And she's already in Cincinnati, just waiting for her orders. She? Yes, she. And believe me, Howie, she won't fail.